Chimney Aki Quilts Chief Brand Product Officer, and I want to welcome all of you to our launch party today. This is an exciting show because we're going to reveal two, two. new block on board dies to you today. That means we are introducing two, two new quilt blocks at the same show. Here at AccuQuilt, we're always focused on developing innovative products that you will love. We hope these two new dies will bring you more joy in quilting in a way that is fast, easy, accurate, and safe. So awesome. I can't wait for you to see these new dies. So let me quickly introduce you to your lead singers for today, Pam and Erica. Yeah. <laughs> we're excited to be here. Rock this on. All right, Erica, okay, we are really gonna rock the block with these new dies. I know, these will be dies are topping the charts. They are, and one of them in particular is going to save our quilters so much time. time. All right, all right, all right, quilters, let's get this lunch party started. <laughs> no, we planned a great party for you today. We have got great prizes, exciting project ideas, inspirational trunk show, and special offers only available today. All right, ladies, I'm going to let you start rocking these blocks. The, I'll be back for the trunk show later on. Have a great show. Have a great show man. Oh, all right, all right, here we are. All right, we're not waiting any longer. Let's see the new dies. Right now. Take root and tradition with AccuQuilt's two new dies and rock the block with Go Feather Star and go weather vane. The feather star block was a popular display quilt in the late 1800s, but now you can easily create this piece of history for yourself. Because of the intricately placed triangles in this block, it requires very accurate measurements to prevent distortion. But using AccuQuilts Go Feather Star Die, you will get perfectly sized cuts every single time. There's no need to worry. Simply run it through the fabric cutter and start piecing. This block on board die will quickly cut all 21 shapes needed for a 16 inch finished block in just one pass through the cutter and is perfect for creating beautiful medallion style quilts. And if you're looking for a traditional block that will bring you warmth, then there's nothing but fair weather ahead. Using the go weather vein, you can strike time consuming cutting out of the equation. This die works with all of our fabric cutters and is a great scrap buster. In just one pass, you've cut all the shapes you need to sew this popular eight inch finished block. These highly requested dies will surely be the perfect addition to your collection. Get them today at your local AccuQuilt retailer or at AccuQuilt.com. Because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. working with these new dice has been so fantastic. It has been so great. And we have saved so much time by not cutting out these pieces by hand, especially the Feather Star Bob. Oh, I can't even imagine. 97 now, pieces. 97. 97. It's amazing. All right, quilters, with the introduction of these two new dies, we now have over 40 Bob options available for you to create stunning quilts. It's incredible. It is. All right, I am sure that means we've got a great deal for all our fellow rockers to get their hands on these dies, right Pam? Absolutely. All right, we put together two bundles so you can pick up these two great dies together. First up, we're offering the Go Rock the Block die bundle. You're gonna get the Go Weather Vane die and the Go Feather Star. Without the discount, these two dies would cost you 220 bucks, but by purchasing this bundle today, you're only gonna spend $179.99, a savings of over $39. But if you are the quilter who wants it all, then the Go Block on Board nine patch die, pa nine patch die bundle is the one you need. This bundle, you'll get the Go Weather Vane, the Go Feather Star, the Go Ohio Star, and the Go Maple Leaf die, plus three cutting mats, six by 12, six by 24, and 10 by 24. Normally, this whole wonderful bundle would cost you $425, but by purchasing it today, you'll spend only $309.99. 
saving you over $114, Miss Pam. That's so much money. Now, you are gonna get free shipping on both of these bundles today if you live in the contiguous US, so don't miss out on these great savings. And Quilters and Wayne, you don't wanna miss a minute of our party today, we are so rocking it. But these bundles are only available while supplies last, so don't, don't delay. delay. So to get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera, capture the QR image right here on the screen. It'll take you straight to those bundles on the site. And yeah, listen, if you don't have access to a QR reader, no worries. Just open up a new tab in your browser, go to the top of the page, click on that plus sign in that very top box, type in acuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. That way you don't miss a minute of our rockin' show. That's right. Now you can also find these new dies individually on our website or from your local AccuQuilt retailer. Use the store locator at AccuQuilt.com now that more and more stores are up and running and ready to see you. Yeah, they're excited. Now quilters, we know our dies and fabric cutters are investment. So AccuQuilt, man, we offer fast and easy financing with installments or split pay options. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. Okay, so let's face it. For today's launch party event, we needed something a little different, right? We did, we, we did. did. Okay, so we have challenged two of our experts to dream up projects using one of the new bob dies, pairing it with cubes or other bobs. Now they'll also be showing us their skills as they incorporate color play into their creations. It's gonna be awesome. It's awesome. gonna be awesome. All right, first up we have Vicki. Vicki is a quilter who has a passion for quilting. It began many years ago when she was eight and her grandfather taught her to make her first quarter inch seam. She's taught quilting to high school students for three years and she turns AccuQuilt Go fabric cutting system to help beginner quilters gain confidence. We've challenged Vicki to create inspiration using the new Go Weather Vane die. That's right. It's gonna be amazing. Next we've got Shannon. Now Shannon's been quilting for 25 years and she brings manufacturing experience into her quilting by searching out efficient shortcut techniques to streamline her process. Her quilting pursuits include, get this, machine piecing, long arm quilting, machine embroidery, English paper piecing, foundation piecing, and applique. All the things. All the things. All now, the things. Today we've challenged her to create inspiration combining the feather star dye with other dyes. Oh man, I think it's gonna be great. I think they need new hair color though. I think they do too. Just saying. All right, I know they're gonna rock these projects using our new dyes. And I'm excited to see what they do, but while we wait for that, let's give away a feather star dye and a weather vane dye right now. Hey, let's do. Okay. All right, so quilters, we're gonna give away two of each of our new dyes today. If you registered for today's show, then you were entered to win. And we randomly draw from all of the entrants, yep. all right? So today, we're gonna give away the Go Feather Star Die. The winner is, drum roll please, Patty H. from Winchester, Virginia. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, and our second rock star winner will get a weather vane die. Now this winner is, drum roll please, Debbie D. from Newcastle, Delaware. Congratulations. We want to see your finished projects. I'm super excited about that. too. Now, Quilters, did you know there are other ways to win with AccuQuilt? That's right. If you're not following us on social media, you could be missing out on exciting AccuQuilt rewards and announcements. That's right. We love to share die sneak peeks, promotions, free patterns, and you're not going to want to miss out on any of it. It's all available on our social media, so don't miss out. Well, Pam, let's jump right in and talk about our new dies that go with a vein die. Oh, let's do. I bet we have one right here. I bet we do. All right. Got one, we got a block, we're ready. I know, I'm moving my drink, we're all good. Now this is a classic block, but I think it's got a rockin' new look to it. It does, and the great thing about the weather vane die is it's on a six by 24 die board, Erica, so it's gonna fit through all of our cutters, including all that go them. me. And you know what else? It's a block that traditionally uses a Y seam, but you know what? No Y seam. None, 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 none at all. Yep, and when you sew all the pieces together, it makes an eight inch finished block, which I think is terrific. Yeah, it is. Now we've screen printed all the letters, or all of the shapes with letters yep. so that you can keep track of your pieces. You wanna talk about shape B for a second, Erica? Shape B is exciting, because this is a little pentagon shape, and it's a little bit bigger than the one that we had that came out 
a little, crossroads. With crossroads. This is a little bit bigger one. But just like that, our challenge, or your challenge, is not going to be sewing it. It's going to sew together great. It's keeping track of the direction of these little triangles. So yes. make sure that they're laying out right when you're, when you're laying that out. So right. that's going to be really your challenge there. These specialized dog ears, they're going to show you exactly how to line everything up. And remember that quarter inch seam allowance, it's built right in there. It is. And we always say this, don't we? Make a test block. Make a test block. Every but you know what? Time. My first one turned out awesome. It did, and I used fabric that I wanted to use. So That's it's all right. Good. All right, so you can combine it with other eight inch bobs. Yep. So here's the block. Let's show them the block because it's yep. super cool. So Erica, there's something clever about this block. It is not a typical four patch. That's right, it's a nine patch. Right. So we've got three across, three down, but it finishes at eight inches. Right. So, so that is math that we do not do in our no, heads. Not but the die is going to do it for you. It's going to be great. And we have another die that works that same concept, right? The maple leaf. The maple leaf, which is part of that awesome Rockstar bundle. Yes, it is. All right. All right, so let's lay this down here and let's talk about how we want to lay out our fabric. Right. Okay? So you only need one of shape A for a block. That's the dark. There we go. Yep. And we're just going to cut one of the little pentagon shapes. Because okay? we want to. Because we want to. And see, um, this is this corner here, which makes you think you have a Y seam, none Y seams. No Y seams. Okay. And we're just going to put two layers right here. Two layers. You're going to follow the instructions, quilters. You can always cut six layers of good cotton. We're just going to cut a few for you today. There you go. Okay. And All right. Erica, what kind of mat do they need? So you're going to want to use a six by 24. You could, if you use a 10 by 24, you're going to have some slippage. You might not get your best cut while it goes through. Yep. And we're going to cut with our go big today. But like we said, you can cut with any of our cutters. Yeah, but Pam, what do we always say? Go, go big or go home. home. Yep. That's right. So we're going to cut with the go big. And while she's cutting that out, now remember, we've got free block assembly directions that you can download on the website. It also includes a great coloring sheet. So you can work with the colors of your block, get some ideas that way. Okay. And there's a free pattern always on the packaging, right? Always. Okay. So here we go. Ready, slide, slide don't lift. All right. Let's take a look. And look, you see those specialized dog ears? There, it's going to make all the difference, quilters. All right, Erica, do you want to put a little house piece together I right here? I do, I do. So here's our little house piece. Now, remember we talked about these. Yeah. You want to make sure that you're putting them together. So we're going to put this together and see how those dog ears line up just perfectly. Yes. And then when you press it out, and again, that means no trimming. You're saving even more time. Every time. Every time and it's gonna be absolutely perfect. And yep. remember, the key is you're keeping your lengthwise grain to the outside. Right. So if you get confused, just think about that. And this is that um, corner here that always you think is a Y seam, it is not. It isn't. So quilters, you're gonna read the instructions because it's gonna tell you to sew this piece on first mm -hmm. and then and, add and then this bottom add section, mm -hmm. right? Because otherwise the piece won't fit together. But look at how cool that is. And this, look at, look at this. Here is the packaging, so you can see the free pattern that's on that's the packaging. Right, that's look right. Like that. And look, get you one. There you go. It's all great. Now, this is also a great block to set on point. Yeah. So your eight inch setting triangles are gonna be awesome with this. The other thing to remember is it's an eight inch block, so it's gonna naturally work really well with your four inch cube and your eight inch cube. Yeah, which is part of that ready, set, go. You yeah. have the ready, set, go. This is You're the die you go. want. Awesome, I love this block. I do too, I do too, so okay. many possibilities. All right, well now that we've seen a weather vane, let's check in with our expert Vicki to see what she's come up with so far. All right, Vicki, what do you Hi, have? Hi, from sunny Minnesota, where weather is always a topic of interest. This new weather vane bob is so much fun. And I really wanna highlight two shapes, shape E and shape C. I would not want to cut these with a rotary cutter, and this die makes it so fun, fast, and easy to construct this block. But let's go ahead and start by talking about color. To begin with, you can see that I used three colors, and what this did is it gave me my square on point within my block. Then what I did is I went ahead and changed this little corner um, piece to a different color, and what it did, it extended this 
flower looking block and made it look 3D. It gave it that tumbling block type look. Then what I did is I went ahead and sewed a bunch of the pieces together so that I could play. Basically within this block, there are three different units, the corner block, the house block, and then the square. So let's see how we can rock this block by going ahead and moving the pieces around. To begin with, what if I went and turned the house shape 45 degrees? As you can see, that completely changes the look of the block. Now what if I went ahead and rotated it again so that maybe the points were pointing towards the center square? There you go, we we'll rock the block again. And let's finish that one by going ahead and rotating our corner units, 180 degrees as well. And you can see yet another option for a block. So what I'm going to tell you is this is a fun block to go ahead and play with moving the pieces around or changing colors. You'll get a completely different look every time. I also took the house pieces because to me, it really looked like an extended um, flying geese. And I created this border or you could use this as a piece within your quilt. And I think it adds a lot of interest and a lot of fun. In addition, I took that corner piece and I decided to sew four together. Look at this great star block that it made. And it looks completely different depending on what colors you use. Then, I went ahead and created a little project here. So this Christmas tree skirt, as you can see, I used four of our weather vane blocks. And what I did is I removed one of those corners to create space for your Christmas tree. This was a lot of fun to make. It was a quick and easy project and it really got me in the mood for Christmas. I have a lot of ideas based on all of these colors and all of these ways to rock the block. So I'm gonna go away now, and when I get back, I'll be ready to show you the reveal. Okay, that tree skirt is so, so cute. So cute, but I love the idea of making the blocks and just literally moving them around. Yeah, we talk about that all the time, how you can take those shapes. And so uh, some people have asked with our weather vane block, can you find these shapes in the cube? And the answer to that is no. No, you no. cannot. But let's tell you why. Yeah. The first thing is, is because we've got a nine patch here, but it's finishing at eight inches. Now that means that eight's not cleanly divisible by three. Correct. So we got some wonky math going on. So that's the first reason why. The right. second reason why is because we do not have a pentagon shape that lives inside of our cubes. Right, and remember that the math is different, right? Because the, math the is different. cube yep. system is based on a four patch system and this is a nine patch. This is a nine patch. Yep. All right, here we go. Next, Erica. Next up is the weather vane. All right. Or a feathered star. Feathered star. Oh, here. Or a feathered star. That's okay. I feel the hair dye going to my brain. It all is. <laughs> It's okay here, I'm gonna take our pieces right, off so our, we can talk. So we can talk about this die. This is an amazing die. I cannot tell you quilters how much time you are gonna save. I would not make a project with this. Look at this without beautiful. the die. So this makes a 16 inch finished block. Okay, and, and how many pieces? 97, and but it don't is a count. stunner. Don't count. Yeah. It's gonna go really fast. The engineered dog ears are gonna fit together really well. Right. Um, it's just, Oh, it's such a great block. And when you look at it, you think, oh, there are so many Y seams, but guess what? Just two. Just two. Just two. And Eric and I, we filmed a video um, on how to put those Y seams we in. Did. We right? did. Right? So don't be scared of Y seams. And one on how to do this block as well. Right. So right. this is from, this is actually a block from our Icy Hot Stars, and you're going to see the whole project later. Here it is. There's the pattern. We're going to see it. the real thing coming up. All right. This is a live performance. Yes. So good. All right, here we go. So this is Go Feather Star. It is on a 10 by 24 die board, yep. so you need a 10 by 24 cutting mat. Yep. It will fit through our Go, our Go Big, and our studio cutter with the appropriate adapters. Yep. And there are so many shapes. There are so many pieces, so many shapes. And this... This die quilters is why you have a coloring sheet. You can download for free on our website with the block directions because it's all about the color placement and it where is. you lay those 
uh, half square triangles. Yes. And truly that is, the sewing, yeah. that's, that's, that's a piece of cake for you. Right, so just like we did with Schoolhouse, um, mm -hmm. when I made this block, I took out little sticky notes, so yep. I knew that this was shape I and shape G and all of the things. Yep, yep. Okay. I did too, I did yep. too. So really, follow directions, make your test block. Yes, and at least just make a corner, just practice putting just that, that together. That. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so we're gonna follow the instructions and we're gonna lay out our fabric. So it's, it's kind of divided by color. Mm -hmm. So H&E, and it depends really the color way you wanna use it, right? Right, right. All right. Again, so, that coloring sheet is gonna be really, really key. Yes. Um, you can get super creative with this, have right. a lot of fun. And follow those instructions because. Oh my, yes. Oh yeah. I mean, we're rock stars and we can do whatever we want, yep. but when we first yep. try, we try and we yeah. do that. Okay? So right. here we go. All, All right. right. Can so you gonna... hand me that package? Yeah, I'm okay. going to hand you that. Okay. All right. We're going to cut that. And while she's cutting that, just to take a look. Go ahead. I thought I'd open my Don't cutter first. Turn it there on. There we go. Me. It's on. Oh, good. I mean, look at the difference. Look at the difference between, we're putting that through the cutting, the two with the blue, with just the blues, and then with the red. Here, let me pull this up so you can see. Sorry, I pulled an audible. So these, look how different this looks. This one, just one for a winter wall hanging, amazing. This one, they're just so cool and you get such a different look. This is a great time to pull out Go Quilt. You know, Go Quilt is a free design program on our website. Right. And it's gonna be, you could take this pattern, which is called Icy Hot Stars, and yes. plug in those blues. You could plug in pinks. You could plug in purple right. like my hair, whatever you want. Whatever you want. And look, same um, colors, different way of Totally placing. different, yeah. Super cool dye. Totally Super different cool looks. And because it's a 16 inch, it's gonna again work with our four and our eight inch cubes and companions. Yeah, oh, hey. Fun fact. Yes, ma'am. The center here makes a finished five inch block. Yeah. So oh. you could use your oh. 10 inch cube to make um, a four patch that could go in the center of your, I see. Look at you being creative. It was yeah. Lynn's idea. I got to give her props oh, okay. for it. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's so see. We're going to slide our mat. Don't lift, boys. It's humid in here today. Oh. Yeah, we in Nebraska can't decide if we're having summer or fall. Holy smokes. Okay. Okay, so there we're we just going to move this up here, and then, Erica, we're just going to lay some pieces yeah. on here. We're going to get this. Whoop. I keep hitting that record. Oh. All right, here we go. Good thing it's not my cold record. I keep that at home. <laughs> Sorry. All right, here we go. H and E. Pull those pieces off. I know. Okay, so we're going to start again with that, that center block. And really, this is a really simple... Simple construction, and what's gonna, what's interesting to me is, you're gonna do the whole thing, you're gonna get the whole thing, the very last thing you do are your two Y seams, and these are the pieces on the side. Now you think you're gonna have to do Y seams on the top and the bottom, but you're not. Just follow your directions, and you're not gonna have to it's do It's just that. our gift to you. It's our gift to you, you're um, not gonna have to do those Y seams. Not tomorrow, because I'm gonna do Schoolhouse, which is our newest die to try for the, whatever month this is. Right. What month is this? September. Yeah. Um, but the next week, on the 22nd, mm -hmm. we're going to build one of these blocks on AQ Live. Yep, yep absolutely. Okay. All right. So there we go. So this is one of those corner blocks right yep. here. Okay. And then these, you can see when you put those small half square triangles together, this yeah. is how it's all going to be. It's going to make magic. It's I gonna promise. It's going to be the, the color placement. It's yes. all about that color placement. Yep. And then we're going to do it here. And then we're going to come here to H and E, which is the beginning of my name. And every time I say it, I think L-L-E-R. Okay. And then this right here yep. are these little shapes right here. Mm -hmm. Shape F. And when you put it together, following the directions, it's like magic. It is. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful it block. It is like magic how it goes together. All right. Now, this was a highly, highly requested die. It was. I mean, over the last five years, this is probably one of the most requested dies, and we know quilters are going to want to get their hands on it. Don't yeah, we? and listen, I would never make this without I a die. I would never make it without a die. I wouldn't even think about making no, it. No, Press either. your seams open, it'll help. It will. Okay. Well, I think it's time to check in with Shannon and see her inspiration, and I bet she's got some tips up her sleeve. Let's see. 
Well, ladies, I definitely feel that this new dye has so much potential. So I'm thinking about Feathered Star, then I think to Starry Path, another one of those blocks that I really like. And I think that I could put together something that is reminiscent of the galaxy or looking into the deep field of space. So I went and nabbed some photos off the internet. This one is the Carina Nebula off the very large telescope. And this next photo similarly has colors in it that I'm interested in. And I happen to have found a beautiful batik that mirrors those images. Look into space. So what I want to do is pair this particular focus fabric up with some other fabrics and put together that feathered star and starry path in something that again, looks like I'm looking out into deep space. Now, as I'm working with this die, there are a lot of pieces. There are some pieces that are similar size. So the first thing I do is create some templates. So you'll see I have G and I. I'm going to keep those with my cut pieces so that I make sure I'm picking up the right shape because I can get all wonky if I don't. Additionally, H and E are very similar, not the same. They're going to make a mess of it if you put them in the wrong places. So that's my tip is making templates, keeping them close to your fabrics as you cut them out and just sewing. This is going to be a lot of fun. The dog ears are going to make it amazing. And I'm certain I'm going to come back with something that I'm very happy to be able to share with you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Wow. Brilliant. We always know Shannon is going to have brilliant tips for us and she sure did. Using those templates is awesome. Well, she's an engineer in yes. her real life, yes. so good job. And I think that that's important because otherwise wonky is the way your block is right, going to turn right. out. Right, right. And her nebula fabric, yeah, only our hair. All right, now quilters, normally have you vote on which expert project you like the best, but we went crazy on you and released two dyes. So each expert is going to do a different die. So we didn't think it'd be fair to yeah. put them head to head. Yeah. So instead, we want to know which die is your favorite. Oh. Is it the Go Weather Vane, the Go Feather Star, or is it really both? Do you have a favorite? It's really both. It's really both. It's really both. Okay. Voting is now open. So if you're watching via the registration link, you can just click on that little vote box right to the right of the chat section where you type. If you're watching on Facebook and YouTube, just type your answer in the comments section. Our team will count your votes. All right, now, if you want to get your hands on the Go Feather Star Dye today, then today is the day to scoop it up because it's more than a feeling that this dye is going to be a hit. So, both of our new Rockstar dyes are available individually, but for today only, you can get the Go Rockstar bundle normally to $19.98 for just $179.99, saving you $39. Ah, that's right. But if you want to rock and roll all night, then you need the Go Block on Board 9 patch bundle, and that's what you need. You get everything you see here for $309.99, saving you over $114. Think of the hair color you could buy with $114. Absolutely. This introductory price is only available for limited time and while supplies last, so be sure to get your order of your bundle before it's too late. That's right. Now, if you want even more AccuQuilt tips and inspiration for dyes like the Feather Star and the Weather Vane, be sure to visit our blog. Our go-getters, Mr. Faden and I, cover everything you need to find joy in quilting. This exclusive content can only be found on the blog. And quilters, we always create posts that focus around our new dyes. So I bet the blog this week on the new dyes. The one today sure uh, is. Awesome. All right, so you don't want to miss any of that. Be sure to subscribe and then you get notified when a new blog post goes live. Nothing better than live. Nothing better than live. Okay, our friends at Banyan Batiks and Figo Fabrics want to help us make this an awesome great party. So they've provided two lovely selections of part fabric for us to give away. First up, oh, Banyan Batiks. Are okay. these not to die for? Do they not look like the ocean? Or our hair. Or our hair. I love <laughs> Batiks. I love these the Batiks. These are just wonderful. Okay, and I think I have some of these you know, this in is my kind little of house. reminds me of that, that nebula fabric that mm -hmm. uh, we were looking at earlier. This would be so pretty in the Feather Star. I want to see what Shannon does with hers. This yeah, is this is this is need. beautiful. So these are our good friends at Banyan Batiks. Let's turn their name right side up. Yep. Okay, and next we have 
Figo. Oh, and Figo has sent us a super cool bundle too. So this is kind of a Western theme it or is. a desert theme. So it has all the like cactus, it's cacti. A music Hall of Fame now. I know, right? I should use a Southern accent. That would be sad. Okay, but look, <laughs> cowboy boots. And the, here's my the favorite. Cowboy boots. Chicken fabric. Chicken fabric. Who knew there was such so, a thing? This would be awesome with the grit, the weather vane, don't you think? I think so. I think so too. And this is pretty. It looks like a little sunset. Yes. Good choices of fabric, quilters. Absolutely. You're going to have a lot of fun with them. All right, quilters, the winner of our first selection of fabric is drum roll, please. Andrea Y from Ruston, Louisiana. Congratulations. All right. The winner of the second selection of fabric is big drum roll, please. Lynn B. Not Lynn G. Not Lynn G. From El Paso, Texas. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, be sure and post the projects that you make uh, using your new fabric. We want to see it. Absolutely. All right, quilters, we're going to be showing you our experts' projects real soon, but don't forget, instead of, you, uh, instead, of ask, instead of asking you, there we go, all the words. All the words. To vote on your favorite project, we're doing something a little different because we're our hair is a little different, some things are different and we're releasing two dyes at the same time. So we want you to vote on them. Do you like the Go Weather vein the most? The Go Feather Star the most? Or do you love them both equally? You decide. You decide. It's like children. Well, yeah. children I can find a favorite. It's grandchildren. It's grandchildren, you can't pick a favorite. Grand. There you go. All right, well, let's reveal our experts' final projects before the voting starts. That ought to help. I wonder what they've come up with. Vicki, did you find smooth sailing and good weather? So here in Minnesota, weather is always a topic of interest. And our weather here is never predictable. So I give you Go Wacky Weather. As you'll see, it has a modern twist and it just simply uses the pieces of the weather vane to build it out to be a great size for a wall hanging or maybe even a table topper. I hope you like it. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Wacky weather. That resembles us, too. Oh, yeah. Most of the country right wacky now. Wacky weather. That's fabulous. Wacky weather. It's beautiful. And I love the colorway, how it's yeah, completely different. It's changed it up so much. All right, Shannon, do you have a shooting rock star? Thank you, ladies. So what's behind me is Feathered Star, Starry Path. And I think I knocked this one out of the galaxy. It's pretty amazing. I set everything on point, so that got me a bigger quilt it's 68 by 68, and just really focused on that fabric that I was using as inspiration. And as you can see, I've got those sparkly nebula type colors back there. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And to be honest, sewing the feathered star was a breeze. You may look at it as 97 pieces, but they go together so easily with the dog ears, and it really didn't take me very long to put them together. And Starry Path has always been one of my favorites, so it was just something I had to put together. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed putting it together. Thank you. Oh, okay. That's amazing. That is amazing. And it, she didn't make just one feather star block. Oh, no, she made nine of them. It's just so pretty. It was so pretty. And Starry right, Path. She did. She, I think she's right. I think she knocked it out of the galaxy. Yeah, good job. All right, so if you were undecided on which one was your favorite, I hope your expert projects have helped. Now, voting will be closing at the end of our upcoming trunk show in just a minute. Now, if the weather vane and feather star box are on your bucket list, then you are going to want to jump on today's bundles. We have sold before we, I mean, we sold. Before we started, we sold over 100. That's right. And there's only so many. So right. if you want a bundle, jump on it. Because first, we've got our Go Rock Star bun, Rock the Block bundle, which gets you both new dies for $179.99 and saves you over $39. And then there's the Go Block on Board Nine Patch Bundle, which is the one every quilter wants. It's the rock star. It is. You get everything you see here for $309.99, jamming in the savings of over $114, plus get free shipping on both our bundles. This introductory price is only available for a limited time, so be sure to get your bundle before you're slamming your air guitar in the ground because you're mad that you missed out. That's right. Well, while we count your votes, we're going to move right on into the trunk show full of projects for you to create with your new dyes. All right, Lynn, why don't you and your cute pink hair get out here and show us what patterns we have for everyone. Oh, fell off. She did. I was back there slamming my air guitar. <laughs> 
All right, so first this is called monochromatic, and it's the weather vane throw quilt. And my good friend, Stephanie Jacobson, who lives here in Omaha, she's part of the Modern Quilt Guild, she made this pattern for us. And I, I, love I just love it. I love the fact that she just used four different shades of the pink. This yeah. is your new favorite color, isn't it? It is. It is that kind of pinky, pumpkin-y kind of yeah. pinky color. Yeah. Loving it. Yeah, I think it, this, it just really shows the patterns we're going to show here are how this uh, block is so versatile. Right. And what fabric did she use? Do we know? This uh, is, we don't. Just, these are I solids. They're yeah. all solids that she's used on this. And it's such a, I mean, it's an old traditional block, but right. it's so fresh and modern. And you get so many different secondary designs. Mm -hmm. It's almost like 3D. I feel like Stephanie would want me to have this one. Oh. oh okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm wearing the next Ooh, project. I thought is uh, this is yeah, this too is fun the, not to wear. This is the Azalea Apron. It was designed by Jeannie Lebron, who's there you go. right here in Omaha. Yes. Yeah, so this isn't this great? I mean, it's super cute. You can make this in any color palette. It's right. got nice big pockets. Right. So you've got a great um, apron. You design. could, and you could use like Christmas colors and have it for oh, Christmas yeah. and yeah. Easter. This is a pretty spring color. I like that. I love the big pockets on it. It matches my hair. It, do it does. Good kind job, Gina. your hair. Kind of matches all the hairs. Yeah. All right. Here's the, so this really, again, yes. gives you a new look for this block. It's great. Oh, and this right. does look lovely with your hair. So this is the <laughs> Bloomin' Flowers wall hanging. Our good friend, Ellen, Al Ellen Alt of Handmade 3D. And she used Michael Miller fabrics. So the thing I want to point out about this, it's so different than the monochromatic, mm -hmm. right? The monochromatic obviously is those solids. This has two blocks. Here's one block and here's one block. But I love the pattern and the, the visual effect it creates. Yeah, it really does. And it's so different. Again, so different. And then that totally modern pop with the stripe binding. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, I love I the- I need to start using stripes to bind my quilts. Mm -hmm. You do. It's a thing Absolutely. Right the, the blue, I love the blue in the, the background color too. It kind of yeah. definitely mm -hmm. brings out another, another uh, pattern. It does. Yeah. And there's that peachy color. It's kind of the cool color of the cool year. Color, yeah. So that one's on my list to take uh, later. To take away oh, later. She started she a, a list, list now. <laughs> she has a list. Oh, look at ahead. <laughs> so this is the Go Weather Vane Baby Quilt. Our good friend Bia Lee from Bia Quilter used Michael Miller fabrics to create this. And again, those solids look so pretty mm -hmm. with this. It's just sherbet colors. It is, and a perfect color for baby quilt, right? If you don't know the sex of that baby, right. it's just a perfect color. Yeah. But again, modern look, just beautiful. Right, this is the, oh, sorry, Pam. This is the pattern that's on the packaging. So. It is. Yeah, and there's um, there's a video, video on how to put this together. Yeah, that right. yeah. I made. Yep, and there's the block we cut out this morning. And we're, we're seeing on these quilts a lot of uh, more free-flowing quilting, I think, to right. break up the sharp corners. It really does. Yeah. Very nice. So easy to put together. All right. And then our next one, oh, this lovely oh. feather star on yeah, our back this wall. Is, this is Go Spinning Feathers Throw Quilt. It's by Gina Jempasaw of Gem Hill Quilts, and she used Timeless Treasures fabric. Yeah. So it, it, I love how modern this looks. Right. And she's added this uh, sashing around right. the block to make these big blocks even bigger. And then she's bringing it out even further, that same idea to get this secondary design out into the borders. Kind of those little windmills in the outside. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then we love this blue binding. It just makes to it. set it off. Up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And this is a perfect example of how you could totally take uh, pieces from your 10 inch cube to make yes. those solids um, a completely different, another block inside. I love that idea. Of, it was your idea, so well, good job, Lynn. Yeah. <laughs> her idea. Isn't that nice? Yeah. But to customize your feather star, yeah. you can definitely change up that center. Ah, so pretty. All right, All and right. then, oh, look at Here this. Here it comes, one. then this is the Ghost Sparkling Star Throw Quilt. This is by Marjorie Busby of Blue Feather Quilt Studio. And this is like a medallion quilt. So they just got the one shining, Sparkling feather star there in the right. middle, which is so amazing. And then it's the it's all about the borders. It is. So that border we used, well, we did not. She used two different sizes of cubes. The 8-inch cube and the 12-inch cube and yep. the companion mm -hmm. corners. Yes. Angles. Angles, There's yeah. the trapezoid, trapezoid. shape. Um, but it gives that 3D look, which I think is so cool. I have never seen a quilt like that. I think it's just stunning. Yes. 
And again, she did not make that, she made that center block the same as the other colors. So it and looks- look how that changes yes. in it. Yeah. This is super cool. I love it. And the quilting kind of looks like snow blowing and just love those winter super colors. Super fun. Listen, it's only September. You could finish this by winter. Oh, absolutely. Well, like in the weekend. She's mixed it because she's got a print in the background. This, um, mm -hmm. And then she's got the batiks. And I used to think you couldn't do that, but you can. You can mix your fabric. Absolutely. There's no dye police. There's no fabric There's police. There's no fabric police. I like this one. All right. All right, here we've got our Go Fractured Feather Table Runner. Now, this is Jeannie LeBron again, who did our apron. And right. this is so great. I mean, this is a real statement. Again, we've just got the one block there in the middle. Right. And then she's used her eight inch cubes to make the blocks on either side. Right. And again, that this makes a 16 inch block. So the eight inch cube or the four inch cube would be a good choice to mm -hmm. make those. And these are just squares and half square triangles. Right. There's nothing, there's nothing hard about it. But again, that center block is solid. And I love the fact that she made this table runner and added some borders to yeah. it, right? Yep, so you could add more blocks to make it longer if you have a longer table. Good. Like you. Could. And this, this is also, I, this makes me think of electric quilts as well. Both of these blocks are in electric quilts. Ah, library. there you go. Oh, okay. So if you use electric quilt or you like to design with it, you can, you know, have some fun designs like this one where you use other blocks you can create with your cube. Oh, right. that's great. Beautiful. And that's available on our website, right? Electric that's quilt. That's right. Yeah, I like how you're grabbing these from her. So she Listen, I gotta take them so she don't leave with them. Hey. Oh, hey. 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 Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We've got now this is the icy hot sun. Yeah, this this is, is beautiful. Is like the sample block that we showed you earlier. It's designed by Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Quilting, and she used island batiks. And okay, again, there's two different blocks in two different opposite colors, right? Mm -hmm. The white and the black, but stunning. Great, great job, Terry. And I love the fact that it's batiks and the sashing in between. So not tomorrow, but next to our next Wednesday on the 22nd, we're gonna cut one of those blocks and sew them on our AQ Live. It's stunning. Yeah, so yes. order them today. Our warehouse, do you know our warehouse is already putting together bundles right now? They are right see. now. Yeah, so they right. can just ship them today. So Absolutely. It's beautiful. So what's great about this trunk show too, and these two dies, there's something here for everyone. Right. And um, for me, I th I'm really inspired by several of these. <laughs> so it's getting hard to choose, but I think I'm gonna take this one Okay. will be perfect. Yeah, get you a little modern yeah. studio. Yep. Yep. She's yeah. a, ladies, have a great rest of the show. All right. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Lynn. I tell you, she is oh. gathering more and more quilts. I feel yeah, like I she, has she has a little problem. I think there is. But, you know, a lot of quilts, that's a great problem to have. Yep. You know, sometimes you just don't feel inspired, but wow. I don't think she is having that problem today. And really, who would with these great dyes around, right? That's right. And remember, quilters, all of these patterns are available as free downloads at AccuQuilt.com. So be sure to download your patterns before the dye arrives and you'll be ready to start your next project. They are filling them behind us in the warehouse as we speak. We've put together two great bundles for you today. First, we're offering our Go Rock the Block die bundle. You're gonna get both of our new dies, the Go Weather Vane and the Go Feather Star. Without the discount, this would cost $220, but by purchasing the bundle today, you're gonna only spend $179.99, a savings of more than $39. But if you are the quilter who wants it all, then the Go Rockstar Block On Board Nine Patch Die Bundle is the one you need. Now this bundle, you're gonna get everything you see here. Four dies, three mats. Two French hens. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Two turtle doves. Two even. turtle doves. There we go. <laughs> Normally, this would cost $425, but by purchasing the bundle today, you're going to only spend $309.99, saving you over $114. Boom. Drop that mic. I love it. All, All right. right, rock on. That is truly a mic dropping saving. That's right. $114. Now, don't forget, too, you're going to get free shipping on both of those bundles today if you live in the contiguous U.S. So don't miss out on today's great savings. To get your order in during the show before we run out of bundles, use your phone's camera to capture the QR image and go right to the site. Yeah, 
if you have no access to a QR reader, no worries. Just open up a new browser in your, on your computer. Once you're there, type in acuquilt.com slash party. The bundles, they're right there. You can place your order. We'll ship them today. Now you can find these new dyes individually on our website or from your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find a retailer near you, go to the top right side of the website for the store locator. And remember, we have financing options, right? For more details, listen, you want to quilt now, pay later. There you go. More information, go to AccuQuilt.com slash financing. We want everyone to know the joy of quilting with AccuQuilt. All right, quilters. Now, we're about to announce your favorite die for dies. All right. Minute. First, we're going to give away our final prizes of the day. Uh, two more lucky quilters will be receiving one of our new dies. All right, our third lucky winner is going to receive a Go Feather Star die. I love that one. The winner is, drum roll please. <laughs> Susan C. from Tigard, Oregon. Congratulations. Do you know how to play drums? Can you do a drum roll? No. Nah, me neither. It's a good thing Brock is here. All right, our final winner of the day is the Go Weather Vane die, and that is drum roll, please. <laughs> Kathy T from Nashville, Tennessee. Look, Nashville. I got Nashville. We're Nashville. I can't, say it without a I can't say it without a twang. Sorry, Nashville. All right, congratulations to all of our winners. Now, quilters, if you're looking for more fun and more prizes, join me tomorrow at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live on Facebook or YouTube. We're going to take an in-depth look at the new school house dies, the die to try for the month it of is. September. It is. Fabulous. Yeah, it's going to be great. We're going to have a whole lot of fun. Listen, I'll have different hair, but it'll still be a great time. Hope to see you there. <laughs> all right, quilters, the time has come. The team's counted all your votes. It's time to announce which die is your favorite. Is it the Feather Star? Which is my favorite. Is it the Weather Vane? Which is my favorite. Or is it both? It's Which it's, is my favorite. Yep. You voted and decided that your favorite die is, big drum roll solo please. <laughs> You're like me, it's both. Yeah, congratulations, we love that. They are great, they're completely different and that's what completely I love about them. Completely different, right. Yep. But, they're both going to bring so much inspiration to your quilting, to your projects. Oh, and it's creativity. I mean, I look at that feather star and I think I don't have anything I've ever made that looks like that. No, me either. Yeah, so I'm super excited about it. Absolutely. All right, quilters. Now, if you have been following our <gasps> so hot. hot summer sweepstakes, then you know that the end is coming. There is a grand prize of $500 in AccuQuilt reward points up for grabs, and it could be you walking away with it. Now it takes five registrations to earn that prize. So if you are one of two, if you are one or two events short, then there is still a September 16th evening show. Wait, what? I know, it's okay. an evening show. And Pam and I, we are gonna be live on Facebook answering your comments that night. And then- in our jammas. In our jammas. September 21st show, next Tuesday, right here, 12 noon central. Yeah, make sure you register because that's how you win the prize. That's how you win. All right, so be sure to be sure to join us again for a special evening show on September 16th, 8 p.m. Central Time. Tell them what we're doing. Oh my gosh, we're taking you back to the International yeah. Quilt Studies Museum, and we're going to show you brand new quilts that you've never seen before. We're going to talk about brand new translations yep. that you've never seen before, and a whole new different side of the museum yes. that you've never seen before. We look forward to sharing these things with you never seen before. I'm so excited. We had oh. such a great time. Yeah, there. we did. All right, Quilters, it's time for us to wrap up our event. We have other shows to do. We hope that you're as excited as we are about the creative possibilities with the new Go Feather Star and Go Weather Vane dies. That's right. Now, if you're new to AccuQuilt and not sure what fabric cutter mm. you might need, then be sure to stay after the show and learn more about which cutter might be right for you. That's right, Erica. And again, Quilters, thanks for joining us today. I hope to see you Thursday night and then next week for our project. Our event's all about sewn projects, not yep. quilts. It's going to be awesome. Yes. So if you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy these awesome dies, now's the time. Here's the link. Make sure you get your dies and your bundles before they are gone. And thank you so much for joining us today. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. Dream on, quilters! quilters.